I guess the butterfly lights are supposed to make you feel better. So the hematologist took some blood just to double check, but pretty much confirmed that I have what's called hereditary hemochromatosis. My body uh, absorbs too much iron. Excess iron is stored in organs and uh, can cause some real problems as far as organ damage. And now I have to start getting rid of that iron. <laughs> A needle phobia, it's terrifying to think that my treatment plan now is 18 months to have a phlebotomy where they take my blood every week. If everything goes perfect, I will only have to give blood every three months. So I'm gonna try my hardest by changing my diet, avoiding beef and fortified iron food. I will definitely be giving blood for the rest of my life. It's treatable. It's it is going to prevent um, the damage that would have been done to my body if I didn't know about this, which is great. But it's also something I have to deal with for the rest of my life. That's the hard part. That's where it's like every week. And the hardest part is going to be seeing the other patient. Most of them have cancer. So I don't have anything terminal or anything really life-threatening. Nobody talks about it, which is the point of this video. So if you've watched this far, thank you for your support. I appreciate it. The best thing you could do is get tested and test your ferritin levels in your blood because most people don't know about this. So as of right now, I have a normal lifespan and as long as I keep getting my blood taken, I should avoid any major complications, especially being so young and catching it when I did. It's not something I thought I would be dealing with right now. Today's the day. It's my first ever phlebotomy, which for those of you that don't know, is a fancy word for blood donation. Luckily Shane is going with me. Just got back. A lot of anxiety and a lot of fear. Uh, luckily I had a really awesome nurse. Um, she really helped me get through it and make it a positive experience. It was kind of a gut check to have that experience and realize that even the bad cards you hand are handed are sometimes not so bad. So well, thanks for joining me on this journey. Today I had my second phlebotomy. I had my first one last week and got to my appointment, went back, then she pricked this arm and couldn't get the needle in. So she went to this arm and finally got in. My phlebotomy was going great. It was filling up uh, the pint very quickly. I began to feel nauseous and I threw up in the trash can. Then I started to feel tingly and hot and cold. My entire body was drenched in sweat, soaked my shirt in the chair. So they stopped the phlebotomy, put me on fluids, to kind of get me feeling back to normal. It took another like 15 or 20 minutes. So I barely survived. We didn't finish the phlebotomy. We just said, okay, that's enough. That was a lot of new feelings all at once. I am fingers crossed, praying, sending positive vibes that next week goes better. But man, phlebotomies every week is rough. Talk to you next week.